Hello everyone, I wanted to show up this uh, printer before I change it again and uh, this is how it looks now it is still built in, on 3030 aluminum extrusions and 3060 aluminum extrusions the Y bar is aluminum in in one piece I had custom made uh, the tool changer is based on Jubilee that is based on E3D tool changer so what I have more is that I have two end stops on the Y and it's because if the stepper skips steps and the carriage becomes very misaligned and uh, crashes into the X uh, idlers it will use an emergency stop instead of uh, just breaking down also the same is used for the X minimum and I also have an X maximum that uh, is bypassed when you're doing a tool change Otherwise, it is used just as an uh, emergency end stop. The tools I use right now are uh, older version of the Jubilee and uh, not quite happy with them, so I will change them. And not happy, well, they do work, it's just that they could work better. And uh, anyway that's why i build printers to experiment and do things better the z motion system is also based on jubilee and uh, what i've done extra here is that it rests on uh, this instead So that uh, it doesn't rest on the stepper motors. That's a Kenovo heating mat. I have to insulate that at some point. The temperature is taken from the aluminum here and it is grounded here. The printer is uh, enclosed in a walling material, the composite, and insulated inside mainly for sound because it was getting very loud when uh, uh, being enclosed started to put in some LED lights here I can hang my cables for the accelerometer when installed on the carriage uh, I have not had very good luck with the uh, repro firmware accelerometer support so i will try it later again the motors are four stepper motors lima 17 the e3d high torque uh, motors and i have two in x and two in Y. So one motor in each corner. And this makes for shorter belt path like this. For example, for the upper belt, it now goes from here to that stepper and from here to that stepper. In a normal way, it would have this way would have gone precisely the same but the other way would have gone from here in an idler and then an idler here and then to that stepper and in that direction it would have been very long belt path and that uh, makes for uh, more vibrations also it uh, increases the torque because uh, they working together. 
the cables are all silicone uh, cables uh, here I'm running it in a, a drag chain here the cables are inside also silicone cables and uh, are supported uh, by uh, either a cable like this from a bike and um, multiple zip bands uh, uh, zip ties very very big zip ties and uh, multiple because of the silicone cable uh, weight it's very heavy and uh, I have tried to get down the weight but it's hard I haven't figured it out yet the electronics right now it's 32 volts for the duet 3 6 ac and one of the control uh, board expansions 3 ac the other 3 ac that i use for the tools is running on 24 volts the x and Z motors are connected to the Duet 3 6 AC and also the tool changer and that gives us all the six uh, motor outputs. The Y motors are connected to uh, a 3 AC uh, expansion board and that's uh, because the rep rep firmware had some bugs in an earlier version and uh, it wouldn't reliably work when I had the X uh, motor split up uh, here and there and this is the motor for the tool changer lock two end stops one software controlled and one on the mains power the Raspberry Pi is not connected because I've had uh, some issues uh, earlier on and new features are only coming to the standalone uh, firmware version first so I use that. Here it is running uh, homing. So what it does is that it first homes the X and then the Y, then it mounts the Z carriage and when mounting it, it uh, checks if where the position of the pin is. So if it has turned around all, all the way, then it hasn't locked in anything. It if it has locked a bit, then it's fine, it retracts and then tries to lock it again if uh, the end stop here isn't uh, closed, which means that it, it's not at maximum strain. Uh, the speed here was uh, 600 millimeters per second at maximum in X and Y, that's my travel speed. And when doing 
only x or y if moving in both x and y it's uh, smaller speed and that's exponentially and uh, if something that the duet does automatically and here is a tool change <coughs> And now it waits to the uh, temperature to go up from 180 to 220. I have installed a E3D Revo Beta unit in that uh, tool. So it's fast coming up. Now it's purging 10 millimeters and wiping on the silicone. So there we have the silicone wiper. And that's the tool. Right now it, this one is running an a Bontec clone. I have an original Bontec over there. And that's because I had to use the other Bontec here. And another Bontec I have in there. I will soon uh, change this with my LGX light unit I have over there and build another tool with for some orbiters. I'll use mm, this as a microscope for uh, tuning in XY nozzle tool uh, and I use this as the accelerometer is known on the carriage and i think the wire are broken now because it doesn't really make contact and doesn't give me anything so i have to rewire that one with silicone wires instead of that uh, ethernet cable i used um, and i have this as my uh, filament holders are quite good and very easy and also printable. <laughs> 